from the Cornerstone Investors in K92 Mining Incorporated Fiana Gold and Volterra Resources Cascavo Gold Mines, Intermediate Zone The previous operators of the mine, focused their mining efforts to the north, shown in black, of the historical workings, shown in red. Our initial focus will be on the area shown in red. This is the area mined by the Gamperos, Brazilian independent miners before the property was taken over by the previous operators. Cascavel has two veins being mined, the lower grade, Cascavel vein, shown in blue, and the higher grade, Mestre vein, shown in red. Where the two veins meet, is known as the intermediate zone, or the transition zone. This is the area that historic mining took place, until the water beat them, and the property was taken over by the previous operators. The following video, is an interview conducted at the Cascavo mine, with one of the Gamperos, that mined the intermediate zone, and was employed by the previous operators, when they took it over. Louisa, uh, um, let me get your name right, Piera. Nine? Pereira. Pereira. Okay, very good. And we're here with? Patina. Patina. And Patina, how are you, mate? Good. Good. John? Um, Patinga was a Garampero uh, here working in this mine before it was owned by um, uh, the company Orinoco or uh, any other major company. And we've heard some interesting stories sort of become folklore um, regarding how um, Garamperos could, could uh, in one day actually uh, pan a huge amount of gold. So um, I asked the guys and we said yes we, we have one of the one of the Garamperos working with us now. He's still with us working here. And so um, I wanted to ask him exactly how much gold he could pay. Could you help me? Yeah. Please one more. Yeah. 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 One more. 700, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, Yep. And after we put out the material with like a small skin. Yep. And, and so they they um glass glass and material, then they use a, a small skip uh, on the tires, yep. On and rubber tires, and fill it up. Yeah, and, and then throw it out of the mine. And the fine material go to the mill. Yep. And the and the big material? Yep. Uh, look at the process in crush. In the crusher. Right. Okay. Uh, sorry, yeah, that's really interesting. And the other thing I was curious about. Um, was that that was uh, here, right? So that was the, the mesh ray wings, so it was exactly down here. Yeah, yeah. And how long was he working in that job? Seven years. Seven years. And, um, so I'm just curious, does he um, have the feeling from his experience that now this transition zone or the intermediate zone is the continuation of where he was working in the gallery? Quer saber se você sabe 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 
they, because of the water. Yeah, yeah. they can't. Uh, they couldn't pump it. Couldn't pump it. Yeah, yeah. This part is right. This part. So and then from there on it extends because um, I know with all our um, you know modern exploration methods, but um, we still uh, respect the, um, the experience of. Of uh, those who've, who've done the hard work and um, the day-to-day -day knowledge that they gain. Yeah. Awesome. Could you just thank him very much? Yeah, I mean, I think. Obrigado. Obrigado.